This thing makes me laugh. What is up, Bomb Squad? Welcome to the Burn Down YouTube channel. So, I want to sit here and brainstorm a little bit with you guys because my group are some of the smartest guys on the old interwebs that I actually have direct access to. So I want to bounce some ideas off you, get your feedback, and kind of, you know, feel it out and see what you guys think because I will not be done with this project by the time this video drops. Um, not even close. So, it is Sunday afternoon. If you just clicked on this video looking for electronic water pump stuff, education or whatever, or brainstorming yourself, welcome. And if you're not familiar, I wrecked my car at Thunder Valley uh, middle of this year on Rocky Mountain Race Week 1.0. And that was because this guy here, which is an aftermarket LS9 style pump, um, crapped the back out of it. It shot it out, emptied the good old uh, radiator onto the track, and the rest is history. We <laughs> scrubbed the wall, did some damage, and the car is being repaired. So because it is off in my buddy Jason Russell's shop, he is killing the game. But it makes me feel like Ricky Bobby when he's interviewing. He's like, I don't know what to do with my hands. Be I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, it'd be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah. Because my car is not here. And then I don't have any extra money just to go run around and buy stuff and do things because I'm having to pay to have my car fixed. He's doing all the tube work and uh, doing a phenomenal job on the front end. We're putting strut front end, Mustang front end. So you can go check those videos out. But with that being said, you got to do something because there's a ton of work to be done. So I was racking my brain and this is what I've come up with. So I would like to go with an electric water pump. So we're going to get away from this. And I chose the Davies Craig uh, pump. So you can get these over Warp Performance. Smash a little commercial on you guys about this thing. Head on over to warperformance.com and pick up some parts today. From time to time, but it basically looks like a little turbo. You can look them up. These things are awesome. I already have one on my water to air intercooler, so I know that they work well. I haven't had any issues with the thing. And it's a good alternative, especially in the drag and drive space, for me anyways, because they sell a, I think Mazir makes a pump. It's, it's really nice, it looks good. I know a lot of guys run them, but they're pretty expensive. I wanna say they're like 1200 bucks or something, I don't know. It's the lie detector test determined, that was a lie. Thank you. The downfall, the downside, in my opinion, with those is having a backup. Because if you run that pump, you're not going to find that on the road typically, so you're going to need a backup. So let's just say the thing's 1200 bucks. I think, is what I look. We'll look it up. But um, if you buy one, you're like, okay, that was painful, but I can bolt this thing on, and my hoses work, everything works, we're motoring, life's, life's good, we solved the issue. Well, because then all your brackets and everything work too. But if you need a backup... And it's 1200 bucks. it's $2,400 worth of water pump. And I don't know about you, but I really don't want to go spend $2,400 worth of water pump. And I don't even know, I guess you could find a used Mazir somewhere, like maybe Facebook Marketplace or something, but and use that as like a backup. But in my opinion, that's kind of a stretch to find that thing anyway. So the next best thing, in my opinion, uh, this Davies Craig is fairly cheap. They have a good reputation. Like I said, I have it on my water to air already. And it's compact and cheap enough. They're a couple hundred bucks over war performance, maybe a little less. Um, but it's small enough you could have two of them. So now with two of these, say you bought a brand new one and a backup, you're only $400 in. But that's not the end of the story. And that brings us a long wind away for today's video as I started working on a manifold. So there's a company that already has a manifold. It looks really similar. I, it sparked my interest. I almost pulled the trigger on it. But then I talked to Jason about it and I was like, man, that manifold's cool, but we still have all this other stuff to buy and to do. So I just went down the rabbit hole building my own, right? So I pulled up a block. I have a block here, but I pulled up a LS3 block. I think it was GitHub, had one. So it's awesome. I was able to slam it in and I drew this thing up. This is the first, first shot um, on making a flange. And then I have my little guy here and I checked it on the block so this worked out but because I'm going to weld on it I wanted to add some meat and potatoes to it you know because it's stainless so we don't move it around too much so we made it a little uglier but we added a little more material on this side is where the timing cover is so you can't add too much but we added a bit more here 
made the cuts easier instead of wiggling all around. And then what I did here too is I rounded these off and we opened this up. So it'll be inch and a quarter on both pipes inlet. And then I believe we're gonna go dash 16 uh, in and out on the tubing. And that brings me to this guy. So this guy actually fits in here and kind of pushes together, snaps together type deal, like Lego blocks. And then I will be able to mock this thing up. So I have another one of these printing and then I have the other tubes for the bottom because these are you know offset and it's wider. So I had to do it in, in two pieces. But essentially my idea was the same style uh, tube, yeah, this this print's not very good. We printed it fast, but you get the idea. But the same style tube, um, as the, similar to the other manifold that is on the market, it just goes over and tees, and then the other one comes over, and then we'll just have it come straight. So the top one's your outlet, uh, the bottom one's gonna be the inlet. But the other one, you could probably configure it in a multitude of ways, but my idea was to put it on here, and this is an LS9 pump that comes out here, but on an LS3 or LS2 pump, the earlier one, this fitting actually comes out over here. So this will be similar to how that, you know, the earlier style pump was um, designed. And the reason for that is I reached out to Champion Cooling Systems and I'm getting a proper style LS swap radiator. So I chose this radiator for the boom originally because my inlet was on the top on the uh, driver's side. So this would be facing you, right? And it would go over here. So I figured why would I have a pump and I have to cross everything over? So I would, this one made more sense, but now that we're going this way with everything, it'll make more sense to put it in. So when I design my manifold, that's how the manifold is gonna be designed. So it'll do that. And then um, the other pieces are printing. I can throw a picture on the screen of the idea, but that's essentially the idea. And then on the ends, we'll do AN. And it'll come out of the pump, obviously into the AN and then out of this one and then into the radiator. So that is that. I'm just working on it. Like I said, we left a little meat and potatoes on here. I actually, when I make these, I'm gonna add some little tabs to hold it down better. I'm gonna have to jig it up because it's stainless. I'm not that great at welding stainless, so we're gonna have to get much better. But the idea behind me doing one of these is it is a problem I have to solve and I feel like I'm not the only guy that would like this issue resolved. And if you could do kind of the whole kit and caboodle for a bit less, that is kind of my goal, right? So I'd like to make a manifold, but then we already offer hoses, fittings, all that stuff through war, and then they even make bracketry, which we haven't really banged on the bracketry, but they make uh, bracketry for your AC compressor, alternator brackets, all that stuff, like my car. I have a set uh, that Jason made me. So when you get rid of this piece, my tincture, and this is a, basically like an idler, idler pulley, but it's your water pump, your belt serpentines around all that. So if this goes away, then this goes away. Well, that's another problem too, right? So just by trying to run one of these, it opens up the problem of your, you have this, and then now you gotta get the water into the block. And then you also have to get the water out of the block. And then you have to figure out your belt because you still have an alternator somewhere, right? So what I didn't see on the good old interwebs was anybody really kind of covering that. So. I'm hoping that I can kind of come up with some sort of solution and that maybe we can offer that to you guys. So let me know what you guys think. If electric water pump or Davies Craig, what's holding you back? Like, why haven't you done one? Or if you did do one, you know, what, what are your thoughts on it? How did it work out? I've seen guys just run hoses with Ys and a bunch of fittings. I know all that stuff kind of adds up. But then in my brain too, the more connections you have, those are more failure points. So that kind of with the manifold is cool. And then if you could lessen the, the number of, of points, you know, that you're making. Um, but also now you got a belt issue, right? And then your alternator. So it's a big can of worms, but again, if we could make a couple different style brackets, like if you could go and get a kit where you get the manifold, you get excess hose, you get all the fittings to outfit everything. Um, you get the Davies Craig, and then you could choose from where your alternator mount, you know, say it was up high or down low, or maybe if it was, you know, passenger side, like, I don't know how many different mounts that Jason wants to dream up. But then you could just pick that from like a drop down and we can make a whole kit and send it to you. So you're not having to go source all those different items and kind of get you 90% of the way in the ballpark, obviously without dreaming it up and working on it for you guys. But that's kind of the thought. So I'm working on it. If it doesn't turn into like a DIY kit, we 
we'll have all the things available if it's something that you guys want to tackle. But I don't know, I'm curious. Like I said, I'm gonna work on this manifold. I got the rest of the stuff 3D printing. So we'll, when we wrap this video, hopefully everything's done and I can get like a cool shot of what this looks like kind of on the bench snap together wise. But that is gonna be my project moving forward. And then like I said, my boy Jason is killing it on the Malibu. And then I've already talked to Champion Cooling Systems. I got my little shirt on today. And I believe my radiator will be here next week and then I can take that over. And I already took some other goodies over to Jason so we can kind of go look at all that stuff together. But he's got the turbo flange. Uh, he will have the radiator next week. We got the Davies Craig here, but I wanted to go over that and then shoot a little commercial deal for that. So this will go over there next week. And then I took uh, universal joints for steering and the material for the rear section of the car that we haven't started on yet. So we got a ton of fun stuff over there. Like I said, he's going gangbusters. He's got the, what was it? The front front motor plate essentially kind of in. He had everything mounted. He wasn't welded, but I'm sure it's finished by now by the time you saw this video. So we were making a ton of progress over there, but I'm trying to get ahead of, of like this stuff because I had a little bit of time. This, this takes a lot of time. I wasted a lot of time trying to 3D print and make all this stuff and then dream all this up in CAD, but I'm hoping it's worth it. And if not, at least I'll have a kit that I made and it'll be like everything else. I'll custom one off in the car. So tell you guys, you know what to do. Till next time, I'm out. Rolling through the streets, yeah, I'm the king of the block Got that dragon dry style, make your whole city rock Malibu gangster, when it's touch a finesse I'm turning rubber, raising hell, feel the heat, no stress Turbo LS, under the hood, I'm moving quick Nicky tires, grip the road, make them stick like a trick She sloppy too, we got a hit in 08 In the world performance parks all over the place The bomb squads on the scene, you choose